What is going on everyone? It's Minato here and today we have the Dokkan Best Pan teaser and apparently we're gonna get Trunks and Giru banning it, right? We don't have the details just yet here, but I'm live on Twitch and I'm going to go ahead and we're gonna take a look at Pan's actual animations and you know Pan of Trunks, right? So let's see how these look like right here. Um, very interested to see how good or bad they are. So yeah, let me actually make sure I have this tab open so I could turn off the music real quick and we'll play that right here. Why is gear with <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> That's so stupid. He just goes around. <laughs> okay. Let's see. This is Vidal's OST, okay. I remember this scene. I do remember this scene, okay. Literally the Vidal thing, okay. But she has, apparently she has two unit super attacks when I've seen here. So this is the one with Giru. Okay, just very basic. Um, there's that. Cool. Look nice. I guess this is one with trunks. Okay. This is interesting. She has different unit you know, super attacks. Basically, who's there? I wonder if it's based on who's like in the first slot. I guess. And there's one with Goku. Okay. But I mean, these animations look nice. I'm not like blown away by these animations though. She has an active. Let's see. I'll we'll make sure you guys could hear this. Let me. Can you hear this? I forgot to unmute myself. Those not bad animations. I think that KO the the active skill looks really nice. And someone pointed out, yeah, that's like the first unit to have like five KO screens, right? Um, that looks pretty good. I think, especially this last section right here, the active skill, the actual animations themselves. I'm not like like this right here looks clean. This looks really cool. Um, but like the animations themselves, I'm not like too like going crazy over. I guess it's okay because there's like actually like five different like super attacks he has. Um, but that's cool. Power Beyond Super Saiyan. No, she's only on. Let me well, let me see the category she's on. Yeah, just the categories that we know. So it's parent. No, this is um, this is parent child bond. Bond of Friendship, GB Seekers, GT Heroes, Hybrid Saints, Goku Family, Youth, Space Shaven Warriors, and Kamehameha. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Does Goresh have the translations yet? No, it does not. So, uh, for in terms of the video, I'll pause it for now, and then we'll get back when the translations are here, of course. Alright, so we have the details for Dokkan Fest Pan, translated by the Goresh. But first and foremost, we... Do have these two things, uh, the GT Super Saiyan Goku and STR Rildo free to play units. They're getting EZAs and Awakenings, which is pretty nice. They're getting LR Oob's EZA, which like no one's gonna EZA them because they're like keep doing all these EZAs, right? But that's besides the point. Um, Pan, it looks like Pan is doing a lot. From what I saw, Pan looks pretty strong. So let's take a look here. We know her leader's going and everything like that. Uh, kinda, I'll show that here for a second. Let me, I'll close Videl. I was doing other stuff on stream right now. By the way, I'm live on Twitch. I won't be live by the time this video goes up, but yeah. Pan. Bond of Friendship with Dragon Ball Seekers, key 3 and 170%. GT Heroes, an additional 30%. 
that's kind of what I expected here. This 200% leader skill is giving a 200% to actually a good amount of characters. GT Trio, B Pan, basically all these GT Trunks are getting their 200%. And GT Goten in the future. Giru, you know, you know, this Goku right here, these two Super Saiyan 2 Gokus right here. Full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku is getting his 200% leader skill, right? There's a good amount of units that are getting a new leader skill. And really just Goku Trunks and Pan just makes sense for, you know, this Pan, the type of, the Baby Saga Pan, right? Um, I think it just makes a lot of sense for it to be like that. Bond of Friendship needed a new lead, I think, now. So it's a pretty strong team. I think that there's a lot of good units on here that can help you beat Red Zone. So I definitely am fine with this team for sure. Dragon Ball Seekers, not really the best team ever, right? But again, it has some nice units here and there that can help you beat Red Zone. It has a lot of the Ginyu Force units too, right? So that could be pretty interesting. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, let's take a look at Pan's super attack. So, Maiden Blast, raises attack, causes immense damage with a medium chance to stun. She has, again, three unit super attacks. One with Trunks, one with Giru, and then one with Gok. The one with Giru, but this is with Giru, right? No, Trunks, right? Greatly raises attack, causes immense damage with a high chance to stun. I definitely will take that. Stacking attack greatly permanently is very powerful. With Giru, it's the same thing. Okay. Greatly raising attack, causes immense damage, high chance to stun. Okay. Giru, huh? Okay. Uh, I wonder which one takes precedence. Uh, it doesn't really matter, though. Unit Super Attack 3. Greatly raises attack, causes immense damage with a high chance, with a great chance to stun, actually. 70% stun chance can be really strong. When there's a character whose name includes Goku GT. Okay. Specifically, Goku GT. So, uh, it won't count Super Saiyan 4 Goku, huh? Yeah, because like, obviously Super Saiyan 4 Goku is not Goku GT, it's just Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Okay. That does suck a little bubble. Passive skill. Attack and defense 150% starter turn. An additional 50% attack and defense when attacking. Key 2, 50% attack and 50% damage reduction until launching an attack when the first launches. 20% attack and defense per attack performed, max of 100%. An additional attack that has a high chance to become a super attack if there's a GT Kiro's category ally who includes Goku, Trunks, or Giru. I hate this. Where is it? Until launching an attack. Really? Why can't you keep it after, right? I mean. She gets extra defense here, but I think that's just a, that's kind of stupid. She should just have 50% reduction. Why not, right? In fact, it shouldn't even be locked to slot one, probably. It should just be in all slots, right? It's just a little thing, right? Uh, uh, right. And since you're going to have her in slot one, she's basically going to auto super. Only okay, three. Two keys, pretty strong. Active skill, when five or more attacks have been launched, and there's a GT Heroes category ally attacking in the same turn, who name includes Goku. Really raise attack temporarily cause ultimate damage, 59% chance to perform a crit during the turn of the activation. Okay. This is going to hit really hard, I think. This will re hit really, really hard, because she's greatly stacking attack the whole time. She can triple super if there's a GT Goku, right? Which is obviously... I think a lot of times you're going to have a GT Goku. 50% reduction until launching attack, man. Really? That sucks. Let me refresh make sure there's no errors with that. I'm going to pray that there's an error with that. Uh, Gris is down here. No. There's trunks down here. We have trunks now. Okay, cool. Yeah. That sucks. Common Battle, Innocence, All in the Family, Saint Lineage, Battlefield, T Dead, GT, First Battle, Categories, right? Pan seems strong, but she doesn't seem busted. Busted. She doesn't really do anything special besides the damage reduction that she loses after attacking. Um, 
she's gonna have really high stats though she's gonna hit really hard i think right because she has this right here how much attack she's getting when attacking basically 50 percent 100 percent 200 percent this is going to be multiplicative against this and then against this uh so it's going to be 150 percent multiplicative 100 percent will be activated to start her turn she has 50 percent reduction until she attacks this is still going to be useful i think this will still be useful just so that she can be in slot one because her defense after supering might still be good enough right it'll still be really high she could triple super she's strong for sure i think she's very very good i just don't want to say how good she is until we see how her she is actually in game but i think this could have just been better i think her defense will be really high though right i mean we could take a look here uh, at her defense right i think tech types how many how much do tech types get at rainbow let me check my app real quick actually tech types gets how much defense here Five thousand defense okay let me we're gonna bring out the calculator actually we're gonna bring out the calculator <laughs> why not let's do that so what her defense is 8020 Let's see how our higher defense is going to be. So she'll be on her own 200% leader skill, right? So we'll get that in. She gets 150% at the start of turn. Bam. Then let's say she has all the family and same lineage. That's going to be 25% defense. Then she gets basically 150% defense at their super. That's not enough. That is not enough. If that's what it is. That that's not enough. No way. I did it right. Leader skill, start of turn, links. No. Ooh. And she's tech, so Mega should be hurting against. Oh, that. Oof. Ah. Hmm. L mass, L stream, L video, true. We'll see. Trunks and gear look pretty good, actually. Um, I saw what they did. Greatly raises attack one turn, cost three damage, lowers defense. That's fine. He's a double orb changer to ints. AGL and tech key spheres to inky spheres and then 120% attack and defense bond of friendship gt heroes dragon ball seekers gain key one and 20% attack and defense so again he's gonna give key three and then 30% uh 60% attack and defense to characters who are in all three of these so like pan for example right pan might have a lot of support around here right these are just the like um those numbers i showed are just her by herself right but yeah okay Additional 120% attack and defense when collecting three key spheres. Additional 120% attack and defense on all enemies minus 20% attack when collecting five more key spheres. When collecting seven key spheres, he gives all allies key two, attack and defense, and then 10% crit chance. Speed of retribution, Baronax, Cool Judgment, GT, Core, Joe Pickers, Battle. Again, Trunks and Gear look very strong. I think they look very good. Pan's defense could be way better. On paper, her defense looks pretty good, but I, the math I just did doesn't really reflect that. I think the, the issue is, again, she doesn't get any defense on her super attack effects, which is pretty huge, right? Oh, wait, did I mess up with the... Let me see. I probably messed up with the math. Someone said I messed up. Again, I, I'm bad at life. What could I say, right? Oh, I think I know where I messed up. Wait. I, I think I know where I messed up. Let me check. I guess I can't check anymore. Okay. Um, what was it? 820? 820 plus the 5,000. Oh, wait. Did I even add the hidden potential? <laughs> I probably did not add the hidden potential. That's that's what I did, I think. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think I'm stupid. I forgot to add the hidden potential. 
Yeah, okay, that's good. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I, I felt something was wrong. But no, this is pretty good post super. Okay. Um and then This would be start of turn when she's fully built up. 400 k Yeah, she's good. She looks good. Never mind. I'm wrong. I'm an L. What can I say? Yeah, I can close all these. Dokkan Fist Pan looks pretty strong. Um, again, I don't think that she's best you are, but she looks very good. I am wrong. Sorry. <laughs> 500k is pretty good. With no support, by the way. She's going to get like 60% support from the Strunks. She's good. She's good because she's greatly stacking attack, triple supering. She's going to hit pretty hard, right? No, tech is 5,000 defense. Uh, 3,000 defense is only two free-to-play units. I just checked in game, right? Look, tech god Goku. Defense 5,000, see? I know what I'm doing. Anyways, that's the video, guys. Uh, let me know what you guys think of Pan. I think Pan looks pretty strong. Thank you all for watching, and I apologize for the wrong information. We'll see you all in the next one. Peace out. Uh, peace out. <laughs>